As fate would have it, the Sufils, once thought extinct, were not entirely wiped out by the Saiyans. Now, the parasitic organism calling itself Baby has come to Earth to wreak revenge on the surviving Saiyans. Baby ruthlessly carried out the Sufils' plans, and one by one, Goku watched helplessly as his friends were absorbed. Unable to overcome the monster's immense power, Goku had all but given up hope, until his granddaughter Pan's tears brought about a miracle. Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I am the Max of You Trades and welcome to Dragon Ball GT. Oh, what is often considered to be apparently a horrible black stain on the history that is Dragon Ball, I personally enjoyed. That's just me. I don't know what I don't know what else to tell you. Just I don't know. I I see nothing wrong with the GT series as a whole. I think it did everything just fine. I think all the characters it introduced were fine. I think the villains were honestly really well thought out. I thought the ending was beyond touching and fitting for you know the characters' histories. I don't know. This is all the thing is. And anyway, you might be wondering who they ever love in hell. This guy is. This is Oob. U U B. It's, it's Boo backwards, you see. Oob is the reincarnation of Majin Buu. Uh, the, you know, the evil one. You know, when Goku said, I hope you come back as someone good, well, that's Oob. They, uh, Oob met Goku at a World Martial Arts Tournament, and he, like, uh, picked Oob up, and he said, I'm gonna train you, and then they flew off, and then they trained for, like, I don't know, 10 years or something, and now he's all super powerful and stuff, and that's all awesome, and now, uh, Goku has a granddaughter, her name is Pan, and, you know, that's Videl and Gohan's daughter, it's pretty awesome, and I suppose I've given you enough exposition, uh, let's do some fighting, although I do have to warn you guys, um, they cut so much of GT out of the story in this game, that it's kind of supernatural, and I'm not going to even try and bother explaining all of the many, 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 many things they cut out, so just roll with the punches and let's just do this thing. While Goku was away training with the Elder Kai, the evil baby set his sights on Pan. Although I do have to admit, that's a pretty stupid villain name. Everything else about him is awesome, but that name. Sensing Pan's distress, Oob, stronger than ever, rushed to help her. They really are begging on us just knowing who those two are initially, aren't they? You're fighting me now! Good, we started to get bored, so now I'll destroy you instead! Also, I suppose I need to tell you this, too. I can't believe how much I'm going to have to explain. That's Vegeta. Baby infected Vegeta, and now he is inside Vegeta's body and is using his power as his own. So, there you go. I'm going to avenge Goku! Hell, to be perfectly honest, they've pretty much cut out, like, the first half of GT. Like, everything leading up to this moment. Like, this is, like, the end of, like, the second GT saga. They completely got rid of the Black Dragon Balls, and like, everything, the entire trip into space. Like, I don't even know what they were trying to do, man, but there we go. This is what we've got of GT, and I suppose that's just what we're going to have to deal with. All right, oh, okay, hold up. Yeah, you're getting real, you're getting all odds and boggins. Don't you understand? I am the apprentice of Goku, okay? Goku himself trained this oob man, okay? Whoa, painful. Everything hurts. Oh, wow. Okay, well. I suppose having the body of Vegeta really helps you out in the long run, don't it? Oh, boy, okay, well, how about that? Okay, if you'd be so kind as to get out of my face, I could charge up a Super Kamehameha, which Goku, of course, taught Oob, which was, you know, that's just how he does. And, of course, Baby walked right into that one. Thank you for that. Okay, nope, 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 I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you didn't. All right, I don't know why Oob has to do that weird flip whenever he spikes somebody. That's entirely unnecessary. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, you broke my shield. Why would you do that? Okay. I don't have much time. Oob, your powers are extraordinarily underwhelming. Okay. Just gotta do a little bit more damage. Blazing Bazamalabadam. I don't even know. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him really, really hard. And now I'm gonna throw him. Yeah. You can tell this guy's been trained by Goku. He's got like a bunch of his abilities. It's honestly kind of awesome. All right, now just wait for it. He's gonna come back up here. I know he is. There he is. Up, oh, Annie. He's. You're in Vegeta's body. That's not even Vegeta's attack, man. Learn your, learn your abilities, son. If you're gonna take over the body of somebody, you might as well learn how they work. Oh, the pain in my gut. I'm feeling. Ooh. All right. Well, let's just keep on punching and kicking our way through this thing, and hopefully we don't even have to use Pan. Oh, but this might hurt if I miss. All right. All right, here goes everything. 
All right. Woo! All right, and quick punch. All right, and another quick punch. And okay, a third quick punch. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. We got this, Oob. We've got this thing in the bank. All right. Oh, and apparently my ultimate attack is the super explosive wave. Wish I knew that before I used it. All right, well, whatever. I suppose it works. No. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, Oob is dead. I guess that leaves... I guess that leaves Pan to do literally anything. All right, well. She's the daughter of Adele and Gohan, so she's got to have some spunk in her giddy up. Whoa, okay. Although she does have a bandana and a very, very undersized shirt. That's weird. If you'd be so kind as to not do this. Okay, I just need to, I just need to tap him. I just need to gently tap him in the face and I'll win. I could just stop with all of the ouchies I am being inflicted right now. Ugh. Nah, 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 nah. Ah, heesh. Despite his great power, Oob was no match for the evil baby. <laughs> Is this the best Goku had to teach you? I've swatted flies stronger than you. Say goodbye, little fly. Uh. Then, as all hope for Oob seemed lost, Majin Buu suddenly came to the rescue. And the following scene would make absolutely no sense if you didn't know who Oob was. So that's why I felt it necessary to explain that he is Evil Boo reincarnated. Because they're about to fuse permanently together and become super powerful. And that would make absolutely no sense without that information. We're going to miss Hercule. But for some reason, he wants to help you. Because you two are the same person. Majin Buu gave his life to help Oob, allowing himself to be absorbed into Oob's being. Thus, the two halves were made whole again, and a new warrior was born. Again, wouldn't make sense without the context. Anyway, his name is Majub now. Thank you, Buu. Now I can defeat Baby. I mean, no you can't, but we're gonna try. Now this is the power I'd expect from someone trained by Goku. This could be fun. While visually he doesn't look all that different, Majub here's got a whole heap and helping of new attacks, and they are all infinitely better than the ones he started with. So, there you go. Alright, first things first, let's do this one! Super Energy Wave Volley, which is always a fantastic move. Ain't got nothing against that one. Now if you'd be so kind as to get out of my face, that I may perform the other moves for the good people who might be interested. Thank you, alright. And now we've still got the Chocolate Beam! Haha! <laughs> Ah, why do we even have this move? I don't care. It's still there. You go. Boom. Candyman can. And there you go. Oob don't give a damn. Oob gonna step on your face. Or elbow drop you. That works too. All right. And then you. Now you can see. Now you can safely tell your friends that you saw somebody elbow drop a gingerbread man. So there you go. Now just quick more kicks and a punches. And wow, this fight is going infinitely better than it did last time. There we go. Get out of my face and lightning arrow. The zang. I just launched like a thousand homing missiles at your face all at once. It was pretty awesome. Although only really useful when somebody is really far away, I just learned. So, okay, well, that was my shin. You kicked me in the shin. Most uncool, most uncool. Okay, oh, this still hurts. All right, okay. Seriously, baby Vegeta, as most people call you. Back off. All right, I'd like to try that lightning arrow technique again. Except this time, you know, with a little bit more range attached to it. Let's see how this does. Lightning arrows are plenty! Launching! Eh, I suppose it was pretty good. Whatever. Anyway, that's basically the good guy version of the genocide wave thing that, uh, that Super Boo was able to do. Which is pretty awesome that he can do that. He's able to turn that to a force for good! And totally with a kick and get knocked into a mountainside. Oh boy. Okay, okay the pain of the everything. Would you stop with it? Okay, whoa. Always with the flips, Oob. Stop with all the flips. They're entirely unnecessary. You're looking like a real fool. Okay, well that certainly made you look better, but let's try that again one more time. There we go, fantastic. There you go. All that training paid off. Majub corners Baby and fires what is meant to be a finishing blast. But Baby reflected the beam and Majub himself was turned into chocolate. I'm not so sweet you can change me into chocolate. Even though I did in the fight, whatever. <laughs> but he was. And apparently he ate Oob. Fantastic. Thanks for the sacrifice there, Majin Buu. 
Meanwhile, Goku finished training in the world of the Kais and headed to Earth to face Baby. And this is where things get amazing. Sensing Pan's tears, Goku's reason returns and he transforms into a Super Saiyan 4. Again, the preceding few sentences there would make absolutely no sense without context. But whatever, I think you guys get the point. Super Saiyan 4, major damage, let's go. Having reached his ultimate potential, Goku is eager to test his powers against Baby. You disappeared, huh? You've got to vote here since last time. Yeah, I had to pull out all the stops to beat you. A tougher enemy in a North Gate can say it. I'd never allow something like you to stop my plan. And yet, here we are. Your reign is over, baby. Enough! I won't allow a single Saiyan to live! Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, time to test out Goku's newfound unbelievable strength. Seriously, if there's one thing I can say about GT, and I can say a lot of things about GT, by God, I gotta tell you, Super Saiyan 4 is freaking awesome. I love that they re-implemented the whole Ozaru giant great ape form thing. Like, Goku had to turn into a great ape, completely regain his reason, and re-transform back into himself as the great ape in order to obtain this form. It's like the ultimate merge. It's like ever since, you know, they left, they, you know, got on dynamic, the great ape form had been completely and totally pointless. Like, the entire monkey-like aspect, hell, even the tails were completely ignored. It's like, that's just not how it should be, man. They, they had to re-implement that, and they did it beautifully. Like, I can't stress that enough. I don't know why people don't like GT. It did everything awesomely. Go time! And slam a la -a ding dong How about we perform the media wall ding Like, the ten times Kamehameha, that is a freaking awesome move, man. And, like, the whole... I guess the, the, the design is a little bit silly, but honestly, it looks awesome. I like that he looks more like Goku than, you know, the whole golden thing. And just, I don't know, man. It's just awesome. Everything about this is good. Now I'm gonna meteor smash the evil of an hell out of your face without any remorse. There you go, that's how you get that sort of business done. And okay, whoop, he's back. He's back and he's attacking. All right, whoa, okay, hold up, ow. All right, well, how about that? Okay, he kicked me in the butt most heinously and well, he is very angry right now. I get your animosity and everything. My species wiped out your species, but man, I didn't have anything to do with that. I was even like a baby baby. I was like, your name is baby. I was a baby when your species was extincted. So come on, man. Calm yourself. Seriously. Yup ta. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Here we go. Here we go. Time for another ten times. Come on, ha. Really wish that hit. Really wish that hit. It did not hit. All right. He moved slightly out of the way. Most unfortunate. Very well. Oh, and he's charging up for a super duper ultra mega special chocolatey fresh attack. The Revenge Death Ball, which apparently hit. Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, he turned the Earth into a rocket. Most unfortunate. How's Goku feeling? You okay? Oh, hey, he actually missed. He missed, but he completely terraformed the Earth. So he's got that going for him. All right, how about we try out that Dragon Fist attack we love also oh very, very much. Oh, no, nope, we gotta get into a clash first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, apparently the Dragon Fist will have to wait till next time. That's a bummer. Overwhelmed by Goku's power, Baby's defeat seems certain when... Bulma, having been made one of Baby's servants, completed her secret weapon. God, is this the end? No, it is not. Goodbye, Baby. Ka me ka me Baby's in serious trouble, or is he? Wait, Bulma! Again, this would make absolutely no sense if you didn't know that he was inside Vegeta's body right now, but I just told you, so now it makes more sense. What? Thanks to Bulma's secret weapon, the Super Blitz Wave Generator, Baby begins to transform. The battle for the fate of the universe is about to take a sudden turn. Transformed into a giant golden ape, Baby ignores Goku and sets off on a wild rampage. Though Baby appears a mindless beast, he did not actually lose his reason. Luring Goku in, Baby unleashes the full force of his new powers. Don't think just because I've absorbed Vegeta and transformed into this hideous creature, I don't have my wits about me! <laughs> now you tell me. So this whole time you were just pretending to be a big dumb ape, huh? I thought it might be fun. 
but I wonder what sort of power this ape body really has. Guess we'll find out together. Again, let me just tell you, I love that the that this, the great ape form is once again relevant. It's been forever and a half since the ape form was relevant for anything. It was such a key component to the whole, you know, being a sand thing that it just made no sense that they decided, yeah, let's just all cut our tails off and never talk about it ever again. Seriously, like, a whole, you know, that training with the Elder Kai that they were talking about Goku was doing? What he was actually doing was getting his tail back. That's what that entire thing was all about. Like, seriously, because these it turns out having them is kind of useful. Ugh. But I digress. We're here now. We're fighting a giant great ape. Goku controls his great ape form, and he's Super Saiyan 4, doing all sorts of crazy attacks. Everything is good with the world. You totally missed your throw there. But you blocked that one. Unfortunate. Let's try that again with an extra Bushka. And there we go. Fantastic. And I missed that one entirely. That's a bummer. It looks so powerful and devastating, too. Okay, he's just standing there like a moron, and go for it! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, I love how much damage that does. So impressive, so mighty, so amazing. Oh, now I'm getting pummeled. Ah, you may be a great ape with great... I mean, look at his big old shoes. Look at his big old shoes. That's amazing. They've invented amazing shoes. Let's see. Can I use my Dragon Fist on you? That'd be nice. Oh, I totally can! I'll, I'll gladly take that one. <laughs> All right, Dragon Fist upside your big furry butt. How are you gonna handle this nonsense, I wonder? You ain't, because you're about to get a dragon through the chest. Ah, oh, look how much damage that did. It did all of the damage. Literally all of it was just done today. Ah, fantastic. All right, just one good tap to the face and he should be gone. Why you gotta always run away? Can't, why can't any of these villains die with dignity? Seriously. Always gotta just make me punch him really hard. It's lame. Against the giant ape baby, even Goku's mighty ten times Kamehameha proved ineffective. His power exhausted, Goku braces for baby's counterattack. But suddenly... Darn it. I'll never beat him at this rate. This is it! Take this, Saiyan! Yeah! As baby, for, uh, as baby attempts to fire his super gallic gun, his energy begins to drain. What is that? It seems Goku's 10 times Kamehameha damaged Baby after all. Actually, no, that had absolutely nothing to do with anything. Allow me to tell you what exactly just happened with Baby, as they will never tell us. <gasps> you see, you remember how Oob got eaten by Baby? Well, as it turns out, Oob was so ridiculously powerful that that didn't really quite work, and Oob managed to turn back into his normal human form, and inside of, Oob, inside of Baby's body, he started punching and attacking him from within, and that did some serious damage, and that's why Baby got weakened because somebody was beating up on his stomach and intestines from the inside. Not from this. Just throwing that out there. Both Baby and ba uh, both Goku and Baby fall. What will happen to their fight? I don't know. Though it seemed Baby was finally defeated, it was a short-lived victory, as his power quickly regenerated. Not really, he's still much weaker now. But with help from his friends, Goku was able to achieve the ultimate Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Which we were always in. Powered up to the max, Goku and Baby confronted each other for the final battle. Well, is this what you wanted to see? Was Goku not supposed to be in Super Saiyan 4 before? Because he was. There's no holding back now. It's time to settle this once and for all. This time. I really will kill you! <laughs> That's funny. As big as you are, I thought you'd be tough. Shut up! Okay, and apparently it's round two against the giant golden ape banana rama slamma jamma baby time. Go! Alright, and he kicked me in the face. Why you gotta be that way? Alright, fine. Just deflect all your attacks and then I'll punch you in the face. How do you like them potatoes? You don't, because you're a monkey, and monkeys love bananas. Ow! Banana! Come on, get <laughs> Constant after image teleporting like you know what it is. Ah, eh, come on. Also, whenever Super Saiyan 4 gets hit and blocks it, he keeps yelling, it's no use, it's no use. You ain't Silver the Hedgehog, Goku. You stop saying that. Ow. Could you, could you stop turning me into a human ping pong ball? This is getting really frustrating, I must say. Okay, really? Are you going to stop doing that anytime soon? Yeah, I know, it's no use, Goku, but can you actually do something about it? No, because he keeps getting punched. Stop getting punched. 
He just keeps charging forward and doing that over and over again. Stop it! Seriously, what the dilly? Ugh. All right, charge it up, 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 charge it up. Launch it. Up for the best and go! And it hits me regardless. And it did like a thousand damage. All of the damage. Okay, no, it did like two thousand. That's unfortunate. Move out of the way. And apparently I've lost sight of him. I don't know how. He's a giant golden freaking... How do you lose sight of that something like that? You don't. You just don't. So come on, Goku. Unleash your freaking power and do all those crazy moves, why don't you? Okay, okay. Now you are... I've had quite enough of you and your shenaniganery. You've done plenty of damage. I'm tired of this. Now if you'd be so kind as to not run around and just sort of punch me all the time like the big dumb ape you are... Maybe we could actually fight like gentlemen. Oh, no, he's decided to keep on doing this over and over again like a freaking... Oh, okay, well, this is gonna hurt. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so... This is going the opposite of optimal. Okay, well... Okay, and Goku is dead. Goku has no health. Yeah, um, hmm. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do this again. I mean, granted, I have Pan here for some reason, but, uh... I don't think that's gonna be too useful. I'm, I mean... Heaven help the lady, she is doing her best here, but I don't know, I just... Okay, that hurt a lot. And see, he's doing the stupid... Stop doing that! I don't have any way to counter that! Just stop it! Seriously, you're not giving me a chance to actually attack! And if I can't attack, I can't do anything, and now he's throwing me! Throwing me like some kind of handkerchief! Alright, fine, 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 fine. Okay, and I was... I was... I made a real good attempt at trying to do something, it didn't really work out too well! Okay, please back off! Holy dooly. Okay, let's keep on going. I mean, I'm not gonna just give up. I'm gonna keep trying, even if it is ultimately futile. Okay, just... No! Freaking giant! I had an easy time beating you last time when you weren't such a friggin' jerk. Oh my god! Why can't Pan turn Super Saiyan? Seriously, okay. Just gotta keep going. Charge it up! Launch it! Hope it hits. It does, but he guards from it. So that's awesome. Please, okay, thanks, bye. Really wish that attack didn't take so long to perform. Okay, I just keep on launching these things, I guess. Of course, I miss entirely. <sighs> and of course, Pan does not prove to be very useful. Gah. And Pan comes through in the clutch. Oh! Curse you, Goku! It was mostly Pan, if I'm being honest. Badly beaten by Goku, Baby discarded Vegeta's body and tried to escape. But a fierce Kamehameha blast from Goku sent him hurtling into the sun. I can't sense Baby's energy anymore. No matter how strong he was, he's not nearly as strong as the sun. Yeah, I suppose. Alright! You did it, Grandpa! Honestly, it was... it was Pan. I guess really, she really is the daughter of Videl. Thus, Baby's evil ambitions came to an end. However, the seed of evil can never truly be extinguished. Not for another two sagas, at least.